Stop. Don't buy any more webcams. Let's toss these. Let's grab our iPhones and let's use those instead. Come on, let's get to it. Hey everyone, I'm Blake. And I'm Kevin. And welcome to T4T. It is time for tech. Now the reason for this video is because I recently bought this webcam right here from Amazon. It is 1080p, 60 FPS, and still not that great of quality. It's decent, but for hundred bucks Canadian, I think it's a... Uh... Total ripoff. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's open up our app store. Let's go to the top, let's search EpochCam. So E-P-O-C-C-A-M. Hit search. Now two versions are gonna show up. You're gonna get a blue icon and a white icon. Now the blue icon is the paid version for about seven to $10, which Kevin and I are gonna talk about today. But stay to the end. We'll talk about that white version down there, the free version, compare the two, and tell you which one you should probably go with. All right, so once that's downloaded, go ahead and hit the open button and open up that Epoch Cam app. All right, it's gonna bring you to the main screen. Welcome to Epoch Cam. So go ahead, hit begin. Okay, so here the app will prompt you to download the driver to your computer so you can connect your phone to your computer to get the app working properly. So this works for Mac and PC, so don't worry. However, if you're using a PC, you'll have to download iTunes in order for this to work properly on your computer. So the app's gonna give you the option to either airdrop the download link to your Mac, you can email the download link to yourself, or you can copy the download link and send it to wherever you want. Or if you'd like, we have the link down in the description below you can click on. Go ahead and click on that and download the driver. All right, and so once you've installed that driver, go ahead, hit next to the bottom of the app. Okay, so the next page is step two, which is gonna give you the option to either choose a wired connection or a wireless connection. Now, wireless works just fine. I just wouldn't trust it in the long run. Depending on your internet connection, it's just too risky. So. We'd say it's probably better off to stick with a wire connection, especially if you're gonna be using this as a webcam for a long period of time. Also, the other benefit of having a wire connection is your phone is gonna stay charged the entire time, which is super important if you're streaming for a long time, using this as a webcam or on a Zoom call, you just don't wanna die on you. But if you decide to go wired, the one thing to do first is make sure you get your iPhone cable, plug it into your phone first, and then you're gonna hit next. Okay, so on step three, on this page, we have to allow the app access to our camera, our microphone, and our network so that we can use all the functions of this device as our webcam. And once those are all enabled, go ahead and hit done. And we're gonna go to the next screen, and it's just that easy. As easy as hitting the subscribe button. So the screen you should be seeing right now is a preview showing you all the menu options within the Epoch Cam app, ready to connect to your computer to Zoom or OBS. So when you're in a Zoom call, if you go to the bottom left corner of the screen, you're gonna see a little video icon with an arrow next to it. If you click on that arrow, a drop menu will pop up showing you all the video sources available. So in that list of video sources, you should be able to see the Epoch Cam source there. So go ahead, click on that, and your phone will immediately connect to Zoom, and you should be able to use your camera now as your main camera for your Zoom call. So let's take a few minutes and talk about the menu options within the Epoch Cam app. So the first one we're going to talk about is the lighting bolt at the top left corner of the screen. Now the reason this is pretty great is because if you don't have great lighting or you're in a dark room, you can utilize what's already built into your phone and get some great lighting using your flash. Also, at the bottom left corner of the screen, you're gonna see a one times button. Now, if you click on this button, you're gonna have access to all the built-in lenses on your phone. You can use your macro lens, your ultra wide lens, or even your regular lens. But only if you're using the rear cameras on your phone. So you should also see a gear icon right about here, and that's gonna give you access to your settings. Here you can access what kind of connection type you want for your camera. So by default, this is set to auto. So the software is looking for either a wireless connection or a wired connection. There's also an NDI connection, which we'll be honest, we don't really know what that is. So maybe you comment below and let us know if you know exactly what that is. Also here you can access the quality of your video. Now we don't really know why you want anything else besides best for your video quality, which is the whole point of this video is to get the best quality camera for your Zoom calls or streaming. However, I guess if you're wireless and your internet can't handle what's happening, you can probably lower the quality and get a bit more of a better experience. At the top right, you're gonna have this button here, which is your menu icon. If you click on that, you'll have access to all the quick start troubleshooting, um, anything to refresh your memory and how this app is gonna work. So this button right here is the ability to mirror your image. For whatever reason, if you wanna do that, you can mirror your image just tapping that. So this button right here is a pretty common one. You see it on a lot of other apps as well. So this is the ability to flip between your front facing cameras or your rear facing cameras. Now we recommend you use your rear facing cameras because that is the best quality cameras on your phone as opposed to the front camera, which is not always up to par. 
And at the bottom right corner of the screen, you're gonna see a microphone icon. Now, the other really cool feature about this app is you can utilize the built-in microphone of your iPhone. So if you don't have a really good microphone or the one on your computer is not great, uh, maybe you wanna have a wireless webcam here and go around the house and still be able to talk to your stream or your conference call and have them hear you, you can utilize that and get some really decent audio out of that. And here's the last button within this menu, but this is pretty gimmicky, we're not gonna lie, but we'll show you anyways. So this big happy face right here, if you tap on that, it's gonna give you two options to pick from. The first one being this grayish white button, that is the ability to blur your background. Now a lot of really professional photos or videos, you're gonna see that blurred background, have you very crisp in the front, it just makes it look more professional. Now while this works, it is software based. So the app is trying to find you and figure out where you are as opposed to the background. And it's gonna do its best to blur the background around you. It's not perfect because you're gonna see some weird blurs around your body. It's different than using a professional camera, but it does still work. The other option here is also to add a green screen. This is the same idea. The software is gonna add a green screen behind you, not perfectly, but it does work. Now this may be useful in Zoom if you wanna get rid of the background really quickly and add some cool backgrounds there, or if you're streaming on Twitch and you wanna have just you on your gaming background, you can get rid of the background and just have your body there. But it's not perfect, keep that in mind. But for seven to 10 bucks, depending on what country you live in, you know, we feel it's a pretty good investment and a great way to utilize what's already in your pocket. Don't forget the free version. Oh yeah, so there's also a free version like we mentioned at the beginning of the video. But here's why we recommend going with the pro version and not the free version. Now the biggest drawback you're gonna see from the free version is the very low video quality. Now it still works as a webcam, but if you're gonna go that route, it's almost worth spending the extra money and getting the full app features to get a really clear 1080p picture or going and buying webcam. It works, but it's almost like, why would you wanna use it? Unless you're super desperate for a camera and you need to use it, it's not worth it. Also keep in mind, you're gonna get a watermark on your output of the video as well. So what we mean by that is, on the output of your video on Zoom or Twitch, you're gonna have the Elgato or um, Epoch Cam logo, whichever one it is, can't remember. It's gonna be the bottom of your video feed and it's gonna stay there. You can't get rid of it unless you pay for the full version. And really the only features you're gonna get is the ability to mirror your image, flip from your front facing camera to your back facing cameras, and also still have that blurred screen and green screen background. But every other feature we mentioned before is pretty much gone. So the free version pretty much sucks. But hey, these iPhone tricks and really smartphone tricks are pretty cool, hey? It's a great way to get the most out of your device. So like this video right here where I talk about how to upgrade your old smartphone or iPhone on a budget. So go ahead, check that out, and we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.